Hey everyone, I'm Laura Davidson, and on today's episode of How Do You Do That, we'll be talking about the MV5 and the MV5C, what sets these two very similar microphones apart. Let's check it out. So at first glance, admittedly, these microphones look very similar aside from the color. Even the back of the microphones is the same. But when you look a little bit closer, you'll see that there are some key differences that set these two apart. So let's dive in. MV5 is specifically made for musicians and content creators who are looking to get studio quality sound from a small diaphragm condenser on the go or at home. Specifically, the MV5 comes with a USB-A and a lightning cable, whereas the MV5C comes with a USB-A and USB-C cable because the MV5C has a C in its name because it stands for conferencing. So this microphone, the MV5, is fantastic for those of you looking to get studio quality sound and have some more control over the mic, which we'll talk about in a second, whereas the MV5C is great for those who need fantastic sounding conference call audio that is truly plug and play, which brings me to my next key difference. The MV5, when you plug it in, will show up as an available audio device, whereas the MV5C will automatically overtake the microphone in your device. This is really handy for those who are wanting to get better conferencing audio, but don't need to dig into their computer's audio settings or the audio settings of the platform that they're using for conferencing. So this will automatically overtake the mic and get you great sound right off the bat. Now, next up, is the headphone jack on the back. With the MV5, the headphone jack comes automatically enabled so that you can monitor your audio in real time. Whereas the MV5C, you can choose to either have that on or off, and you simply push and hold the mode button while powering up to enable the headphone jack. And that's beneficial if you're on a conference call and you want to hear yourself speaking as well as the others speaking on the conference call within your set of headphones. But if you decide that you just want to have your speech captured by the mic and hear your audio come back through your speakers, that's fine as well. And that's what it's set to as default. So with the MV5, you have some additional control over the presets of the microphone. So there are some presets gauged towards speech and also towards instrument mode. So you can do that simply by plugging in the microphone. It will prompt you to download the Shure Plus Motive app where you can control and have some different parameters to work with. So in summary, if you are a content creator who needs to use a microphone on the go or have it at home and also have the option of using an iOS device, the MV5 is going to be a great option for you. If you are looking to improve your conference call audio with a simple to use plug and play microphone option, the MV5C is a great choice for you. Again, you can decide to use monitoring headphones or not, but the best thing about the MV5C is that you plug it in and it is ready to go. So those are some key difference, differences between the MV5 and the MV5C. If you have additional questions, please visit shore.com. Please like and subscribe to YouTube Creators channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.